how to develop self awareness first let's see what is self awareness self awareness is the process of understanding one's own beliefs thoughts motivations and recognize how they affect others self awareness is a lifelong process that happens gradually but at the times it can be helpful to put efforts into raising our self awareness so what are the five pillars of self awareness one emotional intelligence core self second one core self evaluation values learning style fifth one attitude towards change emotional intelligence so here what how fast one recognize and diagnose your own emotions and when you identify your emotions how do you control your emotions one and the second one when others display their emotions how do you react to them so this is a very important one to so controlling one's uh, emotion so like uh, research suggests that uh, emotional intelligence is four times more important than inter- intelligence quotient in determining uh, life success second one core self evaluation so your self esteem so in this what extent people themselves as capable and successful and worthy so here there it plays the two things like uh, locus of control people believe about uh, the external uh, extent what extent which they can control their own experiences like it may be internal locus of control external locus of control what is the internal locus of control i was the cause of the successful success or failure for the change so here i am going to accept it the second one external locus of the control something else caused the success or failure so it's blaming somebody but you have to accept it's that's what uh, core self evaluation so many successful leaders or managers have higher internal than external locus of control third one values so here there are two varieties of values like cultural values that's the patterns patterns of values which are shared among the people in various cultures personal values like what people tend to value in their decision both standards of conduct and their desired ends goal so it it makes an ethic, ethical decision making and values 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 play an important re- role in taking ethical decisions learning styles an individual inclined to perceive understand interpret and respond to information in a certain way so there are one active experimentation it may be like uh, visualize uh, visualizing the abstract ideas or concrete experience like uh, doing it and learning it so which both concrete experience and abstract uh, conceptualization both leads to reflective observation to get the reflective observation so people tend to learn different maybe some people by doing it understand others simply visualizing the concepts they try to understand it the next one attitude toward change so your leaders managers must work in an environment of change it is important to understand one's tolerance to situations that are ambiguous incomplete unstructured and changing so the people who accept the change they are ready to change themselves so once you are happy in comfort zone there is no success so most of the people they are happy with what they gain so they are in comfort zone they don't want to change they won't accept any change the enigma of self awareness so here the point at which individuals became defensive or protective when countering information about themselves whenever they listen about themselves they f- they are in defensive mode or protective mode so which is in consistent with their self concept uh, so that's what here they need to accept how to overcome this so simple receiving the information that is that is to be verified and if it is controllable and predictable you do the both by interacting with others and engaging in self disclosure so one can overcome this even you can go for feedback remember here the importance of humility so if you have a humble eagerness to learn something you lo- you learn 
your learning opportunities will be unlimited why to become self aware so it's uh, to improve one's performance to manage oneself to set appropriate goals to choose appropriate uh, careers and manage stress so you have to understand the difference between you and others one must know self awareness understand why others react to you the way they do and adapt your communication to others need develop interpersonal communications and know your prejudice know your motivation and needs know your responses take feedback from friends and family and peers feedback from yourself this is very very important taking feedback from self because whenever uh, people at an interview there are some possible questions to know one self awareness like it may be what makes you unique introduce yourself what are your weakness and strength uh, like uh, how do you describe your personality uh, what's your favorite uh, food and why and what's your favorite website and why what are your long term professional goals and explains all to answer all these questions one needs to know about themselves it's like self awareness so one is required to develop their self awareness then they can answer any interview question as well as they can improve themselves thank you for watching subscribe my channel for more videos